Okay, um, today's predominantly a practical session is going to be on the mats, but to start with, just so we have an understanding, a little bit about wrestling, a little bit of understanding about wrestling before we start, I'm going to explain what is wrestling. Wrestling is one of the oldest sports, um, it's an Olympic sport, originated right back in the ancient Olympics. Many countries all over the world have their own regional and national styles of wrestling. But they all come together to compete in freestyle and Greco-Roman wrestling. Um, they're the, the two Olympic styles of wrestling. Um, the object in both styles is to pin your opponent flat on the back um, for a count of one second. Now, you must, in order to do that, obviously, you must control your partner. You must dictate where they move, bring them down to the ground and pin the shoulders on the floor. It involves a lot to do with, obviously, controlling bodies, and all these things cross over into rugby. Um, we need to be able to bring people down effectively, um, you know, without using too much energy. We need to conserve energy, and the same thing goes in rugby. If we waste energy, um, you know, with wild, desperate attempts to try and bring people down, we've not got energy to, to score points, you know, and, and to attack. So we need to, to do things as efficiently as we can. Um, so, a little bit about wrestling. Um, my next slide. Okay. Why wrestling for rugby? Two, th two reasons, really. Specific carryover skills. Um, the actual techniques that we're going to look at. Effective takedowns. Um, controlling bodies. Effective use of energy. Lots of things can cross over and can be useful in the game. But perhaps one of the most relevant areas is point number two, highly relevant strength and fitness training. Wrestling develops an all-round strength, okay? We, we need to be able to pick people up in all directions, from all angles, from all areas, and we, we generate an all-round, all-body strength. Obviously, as with rugby, mental toughness. Wrestling's, wrestling's an individual sport, like boxing, Okay, so we generate a lot of mental toughness. Agility comes into it, explosive power. All these qualities can cross over into rugby and can help us in our rugby and help us become better at rugby. Okay, so this morning's session, as I mentioned, most of it's going to be on the mat, most of it's going to be practical. We're going to do a traditional wrestling warm up, um, focusing on flexibility, agility, and mobility. We're going to do a lot of partner activities. Now, a lot of these activities we can bring into warm-ups in a rugby situation. Um, we're going to do a lot of work on neck strengthening, because obviously a neck injury is one of the worst injuries that we can get in any sport. Um, happens occasionally in rugby. Um, as of yet, there's been nothing reported in wrestling, but obviously is, it, it is a risk. So we need to make our necks as strong as possible. As you'll see later on as well, in terms of effective takedowns, the head and the neck are also very important for bringing people down. Okay, and that will become clearer later. So we're going to work through. We're going to work down to takedown techniques. We're going to look at some specific scenarios in games where wrestling and wrestling techniques can be effective. And then we're going to finish off with a bit of fun, some robust games. Okay, but all this will become clear. So if I could ask my uh, 10 volunteers from Manchester Grammar School, Come on to the mat and we'll start our session. <laughs> okay guys, you don't have to look so worried. <laughs> okay, just spread out around the edge of the mat. Okay, all we're going to do, we're going to start off with a little bit of jogging just to get warm. We're just going to jog around the edge of the mat, so okay, keeping single file, not too fast. Off we go, follow me. Jogging round nice and easy. Okay, face in the middle, stride sideways. Face outwards. And jogging backwards. And forwards. Left hand down. Right hand down. Both hands. Change direction on the other way. Quick as we can, come on, react. Change direction. Let's 
good. Change again. It's good. Okay, be careful, guys. Down on your bellies, up and jog, quick as you can. Up and jog, good. Down and up, come on. Down again. And up and jog. On your backs. Up and jog, quick as you can. Keep going. Okay, hands so. up. Spread out on the mat, guys, find a space. Arms out. Shouldn't be able to touch anybody. Okay, arm circling. Big circles forwards. Arm back. Okay, hands on your hips. Circle your hips. Big circles. We'll do a thorough warm up because it's going to be quite an energetic session. Okay, legs nice and wide. Reach forwards, through, and arch back. Forwards, through, and arch back. And again, and arch back. Okay, stay in this position. You're gonna walk your hands out in front of you, push your hips into the mat, and look up. Stretch your lower back. Okay, look over your left shoulder. Right shoulder. Okay, drop your right hip, really push your right hip into the floor and look over your left shoulder. And push your left hip into the floor. And sit back on your heels, stretch your shoulders, rock from side to side. Okay, everybody stand up. Okay, just to get warm again, bouncing on the spot. One, two, three, bend your knees. One, two, three, and down. One, two, three, and down. One, two, three, and down. This time we're gonna stay down for five. One, two, three, four, five, and up. Good, okay. Everybody over this side. Okay, one of the important things that we're gonna try and bring out, bring out into today's session. We're gonna do some gymnastic movements to start. Now, gymnastics are basis of all sports, okay? Improves agility, balance, coordination. So, don't need to look worried, guys, it's all right. We're gonna start with some gymnastic movements. All we're gonna do to start with, Forward rolls across the mat, off we go. All these things help our balance mechanisms to start working. Okay, we get used to being disorientated. In rugby situations, if you get picked up in the air, if you get banged, if you get spun round, okay? If our body's used to doing this, we'll be better equipped to cope with it. Backward rolls, guys. Okay. You'll have to bear with me. I have to keep taking the microphone off. What we're going to do now, forward roll. Turn around quick as we can. Backward roll. Okay, off we go. Good, fellas. Okay, next one we're going to do. Anybody's worried about this? Okay. Don't attempt. If you feel confident, remember to tuck your chin in. Hands down. Forward roll. Off we go. Make sure you've got space, guys. Okay. Next one we're going to try. Get a bit of explosive power into it. Cartwheel, jump as high as we can. Off we go. 
Come on, fellas, have a go. Okay. Okay, not to worry. Cartwheels, okay, really easy. All we've got to do, pick one spot on the mat, keep our eyes focused on the spot at all times. So this is my spot on the cross. Hands are going to go down. And my eyes are still looking at the cross. Okay, let's have a try, fellas. Cartwheels. Good. <laughs> Good guys. Okay. Find a partner, spread out on the mat, find a space. Okay, Matt. Right, all we're gonna do to start with, just everybody look in where you can see. We're gonna take our partner's wrist. They're gonna take our wrist. Okay? Very simply, little competition to try and pat your partner on the head. Okay? The object is to try and pat your partner on the head. They're going to try and do the same to you. Okay? A little bit of a warm up for our arms and shoulders. Okay, Matt, off you go. Okay. Okay, with your partners. We can move, lots of movement all around the mat. Are we ready? Off we go. Keep moving, fellas. This is good. Stay on the mat, guys. Plenty of movement. And stop. Okay, next one we're going to do. A little bit of speed involved in this one. We're going to lean forward at the waist. The idea is to try and touch your partner's knees. Okay? They've got to be quick. Move the legs back out of the way. Okay? Here we go. Get the idea, guys? Got to be quick, got to be agile. Off we go. It's good, fellas. Keep going. Come on. Five seconds, come on, keep going. And stop. Okay, next one we're gonna do. Partner down on all fours. We're at the side of our partner, two hands flat on the back, okay? It's an exercise for both people, but an exercise for explosiveness for the person underneath. When I say go, he's got to try and get to his feet as quick as he can, okay? I've got to try and stop him. Okay, when you clap, are we ready? Okay, with your partners, one down on all fours, one down behind, hands on the back. Ready, go. And stop, change over. Come on, we've got to be quick, it really explode up. Ready, go. This is good, come on, get to your feet, five seconds. And stop. Okay. Right, just come around, just over to this side, guys, so everybody can see. Find a space. Just kneeling down. Find a space, spread out a little bit so you've got a bit of room. Okay, I mentioned we're gonna do quite a bit of work on neck strengthening, okay? We're also gonna do a number of drills that involve making the neck stronger. But to start with, we need to thoroughly warm our neck up before we do any of this. Okay, so what we're going to do, kneeling position, hands, knees, forehead between your hands. Okay, we're just going to roll nice and gently, nice and easily, forward and back. And side to side.
Okay, and we're going to be careful when we do this one. Circle. Okay, just a point. There has been a lot of medical, um, medical people saying that bridging and rotating of the neck is not a good thing and is something that we should avoid. My argument with that, and it's been backed up by a number of doctors and things in the rugby clubs I've been involved with, in contact sports and in rugby, certainly in wrestling, your head and your neck get put into these positions whether you like it or not. So we need to be equipped, okay? We need to do it in a controlled way, so if it happens in a game in an uncontrolled way, we'll be better able to cope with it. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. So everything's going to be controlled, fellas. The next stage, kneeling down, hands, knees, head in the middle, we're going to come up onto our feet, okay? Take pressure off with your hands. Only put as much pressure on your head as you feel comfortable with. We're going to roll again, forward and back. Side to side. And lastly, circling. Okay, good. Right, I don't expect anybody to do this, okay? But when you, you've done a lot of wrestling as I have, you've built your neck up quite strong, we can attempt this without using our hands, okay? So here, hands on the back of the knees, forward and back, side to side, and circling. Okay, we can also kick over and kick back, okay? There's lots of these things that we can do to strengthen our neck. I don't expect you to do that yet, guys, that's all right. Okay, spread out, find a partner. We're gonna carry on with the neck strengthening. A few little drills. Where's Matt? All we're gonna do with your partner. The idea is to try and catch your partner behind the head and pull the head forward, okay? Matt's gonna try and do the same to me. So it's a little competition to try and pull your partner's head down. Okay, if your partner's head goes down, they lose. Be very careful, obviously, we need to push the safety aspect. Don't put fingers in eyes, okay? <laughs> Bear it in mind. Right, with your partners, spread out, let's have a go. It's good, fellas, moving, lots of movement. Keep going, fellas. And stop. Okay. The next one we're going to do. What is he? Move over to this side, guys, so everyone can see. Next one we're going to do. We're going to have to work together with this one. Lean forward at the waist. Hands on your knees. Keep your head back. Other person is going to put the hands on the back of the neck. Okay. Person with his head back has got to keep his head back. If he drops his head, cheating. Okay, he's got to keep his head back. He's got to stop me pulling him. I've got to try and pull. The person pulling, okay, he's got to be controlled. Obviously, if we pull like this and his neck's not strong, he's going to get hurt. Okay, so everything's got to be controlled. It's a workout for the man with his head back. Off we go. Spread out. Spread out, fellas. Use all the mats. Good, and swap over. Have we swapped, guys? Keep going, fellas. Keep going, 10 seconds. 10 seconds, guys. Ready, stop. Okay. Excellent, fellas. Right, everybody move over to that side. Okay. Another drill that we can do. 
Light on your back, Matt. Okay, one person lying on the back. In rugby, if you're on your back, you're out of the game, it's finished, okay? Done a lot of work with sail. They talk about people who are on the back as dead ants, okay? If you're on your back, you need to get up and introduce yourself back into the game as quick as you can. So there's a lot of things that we can do to improve our explosive power and power to get up off the floor, okay? One of the things that I like to do, person goes down, flat on the back, hands by the sides. Partner lies across the chest, okay, in this position. All Matt's going to do is he's going to cup his hands here and the other hand here. He's going to throw me off and get up as quick as he can. And up as quick as he can. Okay, good demonstration. On, your, on my back, I'll go. Okay, so we're here. Really explode, drive with your legs. And up on top, okay? Got to be really quick, really explosive. Spread out on the mat, guys, find a space. Make sure we've got space for people who are being thrown off. You're not going to crush anybody. Go! Good, swap over. Ready, concentrating underneath, go! Good, okay. While we're on our backs, Matt down on your back, everybody move over to this side. Little exercise again, strengthening exercise. Person on the floor, puts the hands back, other person kneels across the body. All I'm gonna do, take my partner's wrists. Now I can place my partner's wrists anywhere on the mat, okay? So it could be here, could be here, here, anywhere. He's got to try and push his hands back up to the start position and I'm going to make it possible, okay? So it goes down, really explode and push. Okay, we get the idea. Spread out guys, let's have a go. If we go, fellas, do five each. Really explode up. Drive your arms up. Swap over, guys, when you've done five. This is good. Good work. Make it possible, make it possible. But difficult. Yeah. Okay. Well done, fellas. Everybody back over this side. Okay. We're going to move on. We're going to look at controlling bodies. Okay. This is something that wrestlers are extremely good at. We, we use a number of different techniques to control bodies, but the, wo the one most relevant to rugby, I think, is underhooking. Okay, so this idea of getting a lever to hook underneath. Driving your arm underneath, here, we're underneath the shoulder, in this position. We can move our partner, okay? Don't fall down, Matt. Okay. We can move our partner, get our arms underneath, we can move, okay? If our arms are over the top of our partner and he's got the lower position, there's not a lot I can do. It's difficult. I'm going to get moved. We need to get our arms low into a position where we can move. Okay? From here we can go for the legs. There's lots of different things we can do. But it's this idea of control. Coming underneath one arm, underneath the other arm, or even underneath both arms. Okay? Now there's a number of different drills that we can practice. Nice and simple. Partner underhooks you on this side, you underhook your partner on this side. Okay, underhook. Right. All we're going to do, we're going to swap. Matt's going to come underneath this arm, I'm going to come underneath this arm. There. And we're going to swap. And we're going to swap. We're going to swap. Okay? That's all it is. 
Get a rhythm going. You're working together, swapping arms. Spread out, off you go. Just getting used to getting your arms into this position. <laughs> good, fellas, good. Drive your arms under, this is good. A few more goes, fellas, keep going. Okay, hand stop. Everybody back over here. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to make it a little bit more difficult to get our arms under. Okay, so there's a progression there. So we start in this position. We're still going to do the same thing, but we're going to tighten things up a little bit. So here, drive your arms under. Drive, 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 drive. Okay, as we're doing it, we can be pushing, moving. Okay? With your partners, let's have a go. Keep going, fellas. Good work, guys. Keep going. Five seconds. Mate, stop. Okay. Everybody back over that side. Right. We've only been working there for about 20 seconds. 30 seconds at the most. People are out of breath, breathing heavily. Okay? Just an example of why this type of training, okay, is excellent for rugby, for other things. Muscular endurance, fitness, all these things come into it. The next thing we're going to move on to. Still on the idea of underhooking. Okay, we've got an underhook from here. We've got to do something with this now. We've got to use this to move people or to pick up. Okay, to get in a position where we can do something. So, a little drill. We're going to take the underhook position. It's a little wrestling match between the two of you to try and lift your partner up off the floor. Okay? I don't want to see anybody falling on the floor. The idea is to lift your partner up. If their feet leave the floor, they lose. Spread out, guys. Go! Drive your arms under so you're in a position to lift and move. Good. It's good, fellas. Keep going. Ten seconds. And stop. Okay, move over to that side, fellas. Where's Matt? Okay, this leads us on well to the next thing. From this underhook position here, okay, as I said, we need to be able to do other things. That mean we can either take our partner down, get into a better position to drive, okay? But we've got control if we're under here. Very difficult for, he to, if for him to drive me back if I've got my arms lower than him, okay? Drive into me, Matt. Drive into me, it just goes up. Okay? So, what we're going to do, a little practice from here, coming underneath the other arm, onto the legs. Okay? Watch again. From here, underhook, pushing the arm up, getting our head underneath. Here, head underneath. Okay, so it's switching. Popping the arm up, from an underhook we've got the control, popping an arm up to get our head under, okay, once my head's under, I'm in a very strong position, drop my arm onto the leg, I can move him where he wants to go, okay, let's have a practice fellas, spread out.
Good. Remember to pop the arm up. Working together now, fellas. It's not competition. Good. And stop. Okay. Everybody back over there. Right. Leads us on to the next thing. We're going to look, we're going to go right back to basics. We call it a double leg attack in wrestling, okay? Very similar to a head on tackle in rugby. Okay, so just make it a bit artificial. Partner, just stand shoulder width apart. Okay. All we're going to do, this front leg is going to come in and I'm going to generate power off this front leg, okay? Plyometric exercise. This is the action. Here, level change, and I'm going to generate power. Here, okay? So here, level change, step in, explode off your front leg. Head comes underneath, head's vitally important. Got to keep our head up. Very basic, but if your head goes down, everything's going to go down. If I try and drive now, I'm going to end up on the floor. So, we're in here, back straight, head to the side, head up. Now my head dictates the direction of the movement. As I come in, arms wrapped around the legs, this leg comes through here, my head dictates the direction, okay? If he's strong in that direction, I might need to go in that direction diagonally. Here, okay? So we're in. Head to the side, head dictates, okay? Keep your head up at all times. Bring the other leg through, and I'm gonna drive here. Okay, spread out guys. Nice and easy, you don't have to bash anybody. Nice, easy practice. Oh, careful, fellas. Remember to keep your head up, guys. Head up at all times. Whoa, careful. And stop. Okay, everybody back. Right, okay, so, to recap, explode off the front leg, okay, here, and head up. This is the position, here, and head up. Little practice we can do, because we need to do it on both shoulders, both sides. Get your partner standing, shoulder width apart, arms up, okay, we're just going to come in, here, here, here. Here, here, okay, so we're swapping sides. Getting used to adjusting your feet. In a game, you may need to adjust your feet at the last minute. Somebody ends up in front of you, you need to be down, you need to adjust your feet into a position where you can do something. Spread out, fellas, little drill. Left and right, left and right, swapping sides. And stop. Okay, everybody back. Okay, the next thing. Once we're in this position, we've attacked the legs. We have two choices. We can either drive our partner back, okay, and there's a number of different directions we can drive straight back, diagonally, or we can pick up, okay? So we come in here, again, our head's the key. If I'm picking up, my hips are also the key. I need to come in, I need to keep my head up. And my hips need to come up and through. So I'm here, 
Step through and bring my hips up. So we're here. If we want to pick up, good grip on the legs. Again, keeping my head up. Head's going to come up. Legs are going to come through, but most importantly, my hips are going to come under. Okay, just a few goes, guys, picking up. Get used to lifting. Drive your hips through. Head back, hips through. <laughs> Careful, fellas. Okay, and stop. Okay. Simple way, using a sim similar technique. Again, with our head, our feet in the same position. This time, we're going to use our partner's momentum to bring him down. Okay? Nice, easy tackle. Okay, so here, basic principle. I'll show it you slow first. He's not going to be moving. Here, the idea, head comes in. My head's going to drive round. Hands are in here. There. I'm going to turn my body as if I'm going round his back. Okay? Here. Right, you'll see better when he starts moving. So, he's walking forward. Sorry, Matt. Crash test dummy. me. So, he's walking forward here. Okay? This leg's going to come to the side, my head's going to stay up, and he's going to come round, okay? This is why next gent's important as well, guys. My head's playing a big part in this, here, okay? In effect, I'm underhooking with my head, there. As I come round, this leg's coming to here, this leg's just going to post across the front, here, and I'm going to turn. Right. Make it a little bit more realistic. Jog into me. So he's coming here. And turn. Nice and easy. No energy used, really. OK? Just good technique. Right. Everybody move over to that side. Work across the mat with your partner. Make sure you've got space. Little jog into it. Bring your partner down with control. OK, so spread out. Decide who's going first. Good guys. Okay, make sure you don't crush anybody. Turn your head, turn your head. Good. 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 <laughs> okay. Everybody back over this side. Well done. Are we okay? Okay. Right, we're going to move on to game scenario. Okay? A few little things. I can't obviously touch on everything that I've worked on, but I've picked out a few things today just to have a little look at. One of the areas I was asked to look at by sale was this area where the ball's being bridged, okay? Man comes over, stays strong, bridges the ball. They were saying that a lot of people come flying in, try and bang the guy out of the way, okay? If it works, great. If it doesn't work, obviously they're in a strong position. So we were looking at simple ways to move this guy, simple ways to move him out of the way. Now, they'd seen some video footage of the All Blacks, and the All Blacks were using a number of wrestling techniques to roll this player out of the way, to move this player. Okay? So, down into position, Matt. Okay. So, there's a number of simple things we can look at. So, here, stay strong. Right. So, I'm the first man in. Instead of running in, I'm barging him out of the way. I'm going to come in. I'm going to pinch the arm and the head together. Here. 
Okay. I'm not strangling him. I'm not grabbing him, grabbing him around the head. I've got an arm in as well. Okay. So I'm pinching around the arm and the head. Now it's going to be quick. All I'm going to do, pinch on the arm and the head, using the back of my forearm on the back of his tricep, and it goes very tight, pinching the arm and the head together. I'm just going to take a backward step here, and in for the ball. Which again, hands down. So here, we come in in a strong position, take the arm and the head, pinch the arm and the head together, going to circle on this leg, and he's gone. Okay, one more time. Just turn this way, Matt. So, pinching the arm and the head together, circling on this leg. You can even push first to get a bit of a reaction. If you push, you'll push back. And we're in. Okay, have a practice, fellas. Right, we're going the wrong way. Take hold again. Yeah. So here, your left leg is circling round and you're pulling him down to this space here. Okay. Good. You stay on your feet though. If, you, if you're on the floor, you're out the game. Okay, and stop. Everybody back. Okay, similar thing. Down, bridging the ball, okay? Pinching the arm and the head together. One point that a lot of you are missing, and I perhaps should have made it a bit clearer. Shoulder presses down on the back of the neck. Shoulder presses down, pinch the arm and the head together. Very tight, isn't it, Matt? Yeah. Okay, so we're here. <laughs> Press down very tight. Circle with the legs. Can generate a lot of power here on the back of the tricep and pull down. Okay. Similar technique from underhooking now in this position. Hands down. We're going to underhook. We're going to come underneath one arm. Here. Okay. So from the front, strong position, we're going to come underneath one arm. I'm going to come on to the back of the tricep with the other arm. Here. All I'm going to do, I'm going to push into him. Obviously, he doesn't want to get pushed, so he's going to react. He's going to push back and stay strong. As he stays strong, I'm going to use this as a lever. I'm going to use this to pull on, and I'm going to circle again. So here. So we're in again. Underhook, push, push it back, and we're in. Okay, let's have a go. Careful. <laughs> right, you turn, use your underhook to turn. That's your lever. Good, excellent. A few more goes, fellas. Last few guys, two more each. Right, you don't want to end up underneath. If you end up underneath again, you're out of the game. And stop. Okay, everybody back. Okay, one of the techniques that the All Blacks were using. Quite complicated, fellas. Okay, so watch carefully. When we know it, it's not that complicated. It's quite simple. Hands down in this position. Okay, again from this position taking the arm and the head, here, 
Now before, a small technical point, I don't know if you noticed, I clasped my hands like this, okay? Top hand, top hand, okay? On top, palm face, um, back of my hand facing upwards, okay? This time, I'm gonna do the same thing, but I'm gonna switch my hands, okay? So this hand's underneath, like a curling action, okay? So I'm pinching the arm and the head together, curling action. All I'm gonna do, step to the side, pull everything in tight, and I'm gonna roll him out the way over there. So here, and roll. Then I've gotta get up quick. Down again. So here, and roll. Okay, just nice and slow. Hands in. This position, step out to the side, and I'm gonna roll. There. And back up. Okay, let's have a go. <clears throat> the key to this is keeping everything tight. Right, you've got to keep tight. Everything tight, leg comes round, and you're using shoulder and your hip to roll. Okay, and stop, well done. Back over there, last one of these. Bridging the ball again. Again, slightly more complicated. Depends on us having this tight. Okay, can't stress enough how important it is, as it is to have the arm and the head tight. But if it is tight, it's very effective. Very painful for him underneath, and I can move him where I want. So, arm and the head in tight. Okay, squeezing tight. Back to the first grip. Here. All I'm going to do, step back with this leg, and I'm going to roll underneath. Now this was something else that I've seen used in an all black video, okay? So I presume they must have been having wrestling coaching. Here. And out of the way. Okay? Clears the, clears the area where the ball is. Other people can come through and get the ball. Watch again. Arm in the head. Pinch everything tight. Gonna step back to make room to roll. And roll. Okay? Nice and controlled, fellas. Okay, nice and easy. Let's have a go. Right, you don't want to get squashed. Okay, so what you get? Right, set the arm and the head together. Yeah. Right. Is it this way? Yeah, you're gonna. Pull this arm forward, okay? So you're pulling this arm forward, so you're pinching there. Yeah. Your head's gonna go right underneath, yeah? And you're gonna roll under. Yeah, roll under there. Good, yes, and then you're up. Not bad. Okay, everybody back. Okay, another simple trick. We're moving away from bridging of the ball, okay? I'm just going to look at two simple areas. It's going to look at two simple areas. Okay, that was the first. Another little trick. Quite often, we'll end up in contact, we'll be quite close, person will have a ball, and he'll be bringing the ball into me. Okay, here. If I can get two hands around the ball, okay, and wrap up tight, he's going to be trying to turn to present the ball to his team. I'm going to be trying to get the ball off him, okay? Simple way of bringing him down. So we're here. All I'm going to do, press on his shoulder with my shoulder. Pull the elbow forward as tight as I can into my chest, okay? He's going to be pushing into me here, pushing everything together. I'm just going to step round using my shoulder. Take the ball. Once he's on the floor, he's got to release as I'm sure we know. 
So, here. Shoulder in. Okay, pressing down with my shoulder here. And in. The harder he's pushing into me, the better this will work. So here, shoulder in. In for the ball. Okay, so just nice and slow, fellas. Arms round, shoulder in, press down. There's a lot of pressure on that shoulder, isn't there, Matt? Yep. Okay, pressing down, stepping round, and in. Okay, let's have a go. Right, you're going to stay on your feet. Here, shoulder to shoulder. So you're wrapping the ball up, pressing down with your shoulder. Here, your left foot's going to come round. There. Okay. And so, okay, back over we go. Okay, in a moment we're going to move on. We're going to do some, as it says on the board, robust games. I'm sure your minds are boggling. Right, what, what we're going to look at now, just briefly, we're going to recap on this idea of using the underhook, okay? Having control of our partner, we're going to do okay? So here we can create space to do all the things. We can dictate where he goes, we can use him to move him and then push. Okay, we've got really good control with that underhook. There's things we can do. Okay, so we get the arm under, we can use the arm as a lever to turn him, to pull him, to push him. We can move him with this arm. Okay, sorry. <laughs> and switch onto the legs. There's lots of different things we can do. We can also underhook on the opposite arm here. Pull the arm through and come onto the legs. Okay? All this idea of moving, movement, moving our partner around. Okay, so all these little things. If we do this kind of training, we build it into our training. Obviously, it's not going to happen overnight, but eventually, it may become habitual. People may be able to do this in a game situation. Okay? Back we go. Thanks very much, Matt. Right. We're going to finish off with a little game. Now this is a game that can be played out on the field, anywhere, using cones. Obviously you need something, you can't play it on concrete or anything like that. But we need a softish surface, grass is okay. And I'm sure most of us have seen this on the telly. Okay, somebody give us a hand to spread these out. I do apologise for my egg-shaped circle, but we get the idea. Okay, sumo wrestling. Seen sumo wrestling on the telly, we probably associate it with big very overweight people. They are overweight, it's true, but incredibly strong. Incredibly good at doing this underhooking. There's a lot more skill involved than a lot of us may actually think. So, we're going to have a little sumo competition. What we're going to do, we're going to think about using a lot of the principles, a lot of the things that we've worked on. This idea of underhooking, this idea of getting our head under, keeping our head up, okay? And dictating where people move. The idea is to try and push your partner out of the circle or bring your partner down onto the floor. If anything other than your feet touches the floor, you lose. Simple. I need a volunteer to go in the middle. <laughs> Don't all come at once. Right, king of the ring. 
Who's gonna go in? Challenger. Okay, just a note on safety, remember? Fingers away from faces. Okay, hands away from the face. Off we go. Good. Excellent. Challenger. Ready. Go. Oh. Well done. Challenger. Ready, go. Oh. Excellent. I think we've got a ringer in. Ready, go. Well done. Who wants to take him on? Not many now. Ready, go. Oh, foot went out, well done. Challenges, come on, keep, keep coming out. Go. Good. Excellent use of the underhook as well, it's good. Keep coming out. Well done. Ready. Go. Think we're gonna have to have a rematch. Ready. Go. Okay, winner. Well done, I'm lucky. Okay, last couple, who's that had a go? Ready, go! Good, excellent. Anybody not had a go? Okay, right. I hope you can see from that some very good turns, throws, movements. I hope you can see the importance of this idea of underhooking and turning, using momentum to move people around. It's a very good exercise, having a circle like this. We get used to moving our feet. If we're going backwards, we move our feet, put our partner on the edge. So we're moving all the time. Using the underhook to turn, okay, to circle and to move. Good exercise for getting used to this idea of moving, as I say, okay? So that basically wraps everything up that we're going to do today. I hope that it's been of some benefit, and I hope there's a number of, as I say, the exercises that we did at the beginning that you'll be able to integrate straight away into warm-ups and things like that. Okay? So thanks very much for listening. I'm going to be around for a couple of hours afterwards, so if anybody wants to chat to me, you've got some information that I gave out at the beginning. Um, I'd ask you to read that. There's some quite interesting stuff in there, but thanks very much.